back there, cow. Ah, yeah. Come on, Red, ah. get going. Keep moving. All right, have you got any water left? I'm clean out. Say, boss, how about stopping at the ranch when we pass it for some chow and a smoke? Stop? We're not stopping until we hit the border. What do you want to kill yourself for? Lopez ain't raiding around here. How do you know where he's raiding? Listen, Gil, you're awful jumpy lately. You're not yourself at all. Is there anything wrong? No, no, come on, let's keep going. Is it that the hands rolled out because they didn't get their wages? No. Is it on account of the bank won't loan you any money on the herd because they're afraid Lopez might raid around here? No. Well, is it that mortgage coming due next month? Don't be a jackass. All right, I thought something was worth it. Get along, cattle. Beer at the border. Yee, yee, cattle, cattle. Get out of there. There's Uncle Henry. I wonder what's wrong. He knows we're not coming in for lunch. You must be in some kind of trouble. That bell sure is boiling over. Say, maybe the cop phoned him where Lopez is at. You better ride over there. I guess that's the only way to shut him up. Keep the herd moving. I'll catch up. Mm. Hey, cattle, 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 cattle. Get out of here. Hey, hey, you. Up. Get off that horse! All right, what is it this time? Do you want me to hold your hand or comb your hair? Wheel me down to Corral. Is that what you called me in for? Lopez raiding ranches all around here. You know as well as I do that if we lose our cattle, we lose this place. Why, you old fake, you, you can wheel yourself down there faster than I can ride it. Now, you hold your fire, young fella. We got a guest. Guest who? Did you ever hear of a gal from Maine named Lucia? Lucia? Where? I'm sure sorry I called you in like that. Maybe you better get back in the herd. After all, what's a girl compared to a fine bunch of cows? Come on, shut up. Where is she? Down the corral. Hey, wait a minute. There's something else. Ah, oh, you goddamn fool. Lucia, I didn't think it possible. You didn't think what possible? Well, for you to get any prettier, but you have. <laughs> Let me go, get Oh, it. no, I'm just trying to figure where I'm going to spot the first kiss. Oh, but you can't. Who because... says I can't? I think I'll try it right here. <laughs> and here. I'll try it, and I think I'll try it here. <laughs> Should I uh, call for something? Oh, who are you? That's what I've been trying to tell you. He's my husband. Your husband? <laughs> well, say, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I... Not at all. As a matter of fact, I rather admire your taste. I'm Morgan Pell. From all appearances, you must be a very old friend of my wife. Jones is my name, Gil Jones. You should have told me. Well, you should have given me the chance. She's right, old man. You were impetuous. Not that I blame you. All the same, I'm glad I wasn't five minutes later. Well, I've known her since she was knee-high to a grasshopper. So you're Mrs. Pell now. No chance of a divorce, is there? I'm afraid I couldn't consider it. You know, I was engaged to her when she was nine years old. Eight. <laughs> hey, you got your nose burned, didn't you? Found out she was married, didn't you? Well, that's not trying to tell you, you gall darned idiot. Running around all over the place like a steer on a riverboat. It's Lopez. Get him in the house quick. Who's Lopez? He's the meanest, killingest hombre in Mexico. Come on, get in the house. Go on, get on the run. Go on. Can I help you? Heck no, just get out of my way. Stangway! Slugging you, Lopez, for this. Hey, Gilly. Silly boy. Gilly. Stop it. Oh, why don't you and Red do something? Uncle Henry, you'll have to stop shouting. Morgan, will you try and find some bandages? Where do you keep your medicine? In the kitchen. 
telephone for a doctor. Can't do it. Lopez cut the wires. I saw him coming in. Well, then get on your horse and ride for once. Yeah. Uh -oh. Five years of work and sweat and living like a burro, and then you go and have to get yourself shot. I never seen such tough luck. I never ought to have brought you down here. Looks like you didn't have no chance, dad blasted cows. Why didn't you let him have them? I had to give him the ranch, too. Hey, Luce here. Ray! What do you think you're going to help him? What are you going to do? Just leave him lie here and die? Uncle Henry, you'll have to keep quiet or get out of here. All right, all right, all right. Well, man ain't got no rights in his own house. Get some water. How bad is it? It's his shoulder. I can't tell how bad it is. We lost the herd. Shh. Be quiet, Gil. Hello, Lucia. Hello, Gil. Any man can grin like that ain't bad hurt. He's going to live all right, ain't he? Live? Of course he's going to live. But he's going to need a lot of rest. Well, there'll be plenty of time for that. You lost the herd, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you know that means we lose the ranch, too. Yeah. Well, don't stand there. I mean, don't lie there and yep me. Why didn't you shoot? If I'd been able to ride a horse, I'd have brought Lopez in. We'd have had him for dinner. Sure. I know. Oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. I must have been born on the wrong side of the bed. What I ever let myself be bamboozling to come into this cactus country for, I don't know. I like it in Maine. I was happy in Maine. Glory be, I was happy there. But no, I had to go and buy this Mexican sandlot. Then I fall off on a horse, and I, I've i been in this confounded chair ever since with one wheel in the grave. Then Gil comes and takes my last cent and puts it in the cows. And then we lose the cows. And then he goes and gets his fool self all shot up. Now the mortgage is due, and we're going to lose the ranch. Ah! Why don't we burn the house down, kill all the horses, shoot each other, and call it a day? Uncle Henry, you got a disposition like a scorpion. Don't pay any attention to him. You should have heard him howl when they brought you in. He's just covering up now. Why, the minute I seen him, I knew it was nothing but a scratch. Why, when I was his age... I, I think you better go outside and cool off. I don't want to cool off. Then you just watch for the doctor. Well, what's keeping him anyway? Well, I should have gone myself. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, that's all right. I guess I'm a little jumpy. You've had a bad day. Mm -hmm. It's pretty rough on Gil, but he'll be feeling a lot better in a few days. So will you. Yes, but I think we'd better stay here until he does feel better. He'll need someone to take care of him. Of course. Nights here are a little different from New York, aren't they? Yes, they seem to give you more time to think. They do indeed. I've been thinking. of the two years that you've been with me. They've been pretty swell years, and I'd hate to see anything spoil them. Morgan, what's wrong? I had a queer feeling in there that you're in love with Gil. I think it's just that I was so sorry for him. When you see someone you've liked for years and years, when you see him in trouble like this because of his unselfishness in helping Uncle Henry, you can't help but feel very tenderly toward him. I've always thought that you and I could talk anything out, because we're that kind of people. Do you mind? Of course not. You were never very deeply in love with me. I understood that. Or at least I thought I understood it until I saw the way that you looked at him in there. You looked at him in a way that you've never looked at me. 
when I saw it, I realized how very much I'd hate to lose you. Morgan, you stood by me when I really needed help. I can't forget that. Love and gratitude. There probably isn't a great deal of difference. I have no quarrel with our marriage, Morgan. That's how it is. Thanks. Talking about them back wages. I took a flyer with him was smashed up. Be willing to take another any time you got something to suggest. Well, we eat. Well, why don't you quit talking about it? You make me feel so low, I'm going in there in the kitchen and take a big shot out of that tequila bottle. Uh, Red's touched in the head. It's this sand country it gets them every time. Sure got us. I never see such hard luck country. You know where I'd like to be right now? I'd like to be in my own little skiff taking care of my own lobster traps. <laughs> I wonder what a lobster tastes like. I ate so many fried beans, I pulled sprouts out of my ears in the morning. Well, we tried. I guess nothing but a gopher could scratch a living out of this country anyway. Oh, I don't know. It ain't exactly the country's fault. I want to go back where it's cool once in a while. I'm tired of cactus and sand. Then what right you got to knock this country? It's my place, and by holy Joe, I like it. It got a match. Uh, you take this here place with a little luck, and somebody could shoot straight, be worth a fortune. What do you want to do anyway? Go back to Maine and smell like a fish the rest of your life? You do like it, don't you, you old fraud? Eight o'clock tonight, old man Hardy's got to take it away from you. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Yes, there is something you can do. You can marry Angela Hardy. That old buzzard never foreclosed on his son-in-law. Marry Angela Hardy. Sure. Why not marry her? I'll admit she ain't got much brains, but a gal don't need much brains in this part of the country. She's fleshed up, good and solid, got sound teeth and fine set lungs. But I don't like Angela. Who asked you to like her? I just asked you to marry her. Shut up. Hello, Gil. Hello, Uncle Henry. Welcome to the funeral. Is this really the end? Yeah, 8 o'clock tonight. When Hardy heard we'd lost the cattle, he refused to renew the note. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Gil. Honest I am, Uncle Henry. Well, if you're so gall darn sorry, why don't you get your husband to buy the ranch? He's going to buy someplace, ain't he? I think so. Yeah, I know so. You came to spend two days here, and you've been a month down in that ramshackle hotel in town, and he's been looking at ranches. I know he has ranches he thinks will pay, but he's a businessman. I can't interfere. Uncle Henry, why don't you mind your own business? I ain't got no business. You robbed me of it. I'm going to mind yours for a change. When Pell comes here to pick her up, I'm going to have a talk with him. You'll do no such thing. You can't ask a man to sink money in a place like this. The heck I can't. You did. Insolent pup. I carried a viper in my bosom. That's what I done. What are you going to do, Gil? I don't know. Morgan's nearly finished his business. We'll probably be going back to New York in a few days. I don't know much about New York. Oh, you'd love it. I always kind of liked it around here. Yes, this is nice, too. Of course, it's no country for a woman. I knew the first time I saw it, a man would be a fool to ask a woman to live down here. Of course, if a man really wanted to find out, he probably would have asked the woman. Not if he thought anything of her, he wouldn't. Seems to me that a man like that's taking an awful lot for granted. It's quite possible that a woman would have preferred to raise a family in a place like this than to die of loneliness in a place like Maine. Maybe. Generally, somebody else comes along to take away the loneliness. I suppose so. The woman probably accepts him, even marries him, knowing all the while that somewhere along the line she's missed out on love. If she found that out, she could leave him, couldn't she? Not if he loved her. Not if he'd been good and kind to her. 
Not if she wanted to be able to live with herself afterwards. I see. Well, it might help her out a little bit if she knew that the man who wouldn't ask her to live in this country always wanted to. Probably still would if things were different. Would that help? It helps a lot. I said better go. There's old man Hardy coming to pick the bones clean. You'll let us know where you are, Gil. Oh, sure, you bet. Well, I'd better go see Hardy. Uncle Henry's liable to shoot him. You know Uncle Henry. Here's a little present for you, if you'd like to have him. We call him adios. Hiya, Mr. Hardy. Hello, Red. Hiya, Angela. Hello, Red. Where's Gilbert? He's around by the corral. Oh. Say, Angela, has your pappy got any good news for the boss? Please don't bother me now, Red. No, I'm not going to ask you to marry me again. I know you're crazy about the boss. Well, so am I. But I thought maybe you could make your pappy kind of slow down. Hello, Gil. Hello, Gil. Well, what about it? Now, Papa, you mustn't... Angela, please let me alone. This is business. I just only want you to be nice about it. How are you going to be nice about a thing like this? Well, that's easy. Just don't take his ranch, of course. Well, for the love of... Red, will you please take my daughter for a walk? Well, I'd be delighted. But we've got more ranches now than we know what to do with. Keep still. Do as you're told. Go for a walk. Ooh. So, I take it you haven't got the money. I haven't, and you take it. Oh, just like that, eh? So you ain't got anything more to say? Nothing of general interest. Well, I have. Your daughter wants to marry him. What do you mean? Who told you that? She told me. And if he wasn't the gull darn fool and would take my advice, well, she'd go on. Gil, be a good fellow, will you? Keep quiet. Maybe you can persuade him. Persuade him what? To marry her. I don't want him to marry her. You don't? Certainly not. But he's my nephew. Yeah, that's my principal reason. And another is that I want his ranch, not him. Say, look here, Jasper Hardy. My nephew Gil is one of the finest boys in Mexico. Oh, just a minute ago, you were calling him a gull darn fool. You think I want my daughter to marry a gull darn fool? Yes. No, it did serve them both right, and you too. Wait a minute. Traffic here is getting so darn bad, I might as well open the hamburger stand. I get my money back that way. Hello, Uncle Henry. Ah. Gil. Hello, Hardy. How do you Hello, do? Morgan. Hey, hey, you dropped something. Oh, thanks. Hello, darling. I have some news that might please you. You have? I know how worried you've been about your friends here losing their ranch. I think I've found a way of helping them. Eh? What else? <laughs> I'd like a business talk with you, Gil. Inside. We're all out of business unless you want to buy the ranch. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Huh? It's still yours, isn't it? Until 8 o'clock tonight, and it's his. Until 8. Fine. Plenty of time. Come inside, will you, Gil? Hey, wait a minute. Uncle Henry, aren't you coming in? Huh? You better hurry. <laughs> Be right with you. As I understand it, the mortgage is for ten thousand dollars. That's right. What's your equity? Ten more. My ten. What do you say to twenty thousand? That'll pay off the mortgage and get you back your ten. You mean you'd give us twenty thousand dollars for this ranch without any cattle on it? Exactly. Will you take it? You bet your life we'll take it. Why, Morgan, that, that's wonderful. Not at all. They're our friends, aren't they? Is it a go? A go? It's win. Hold on here now. Hold on. You can't do this. Why not? This ranch is practically my property, and you're doing me out of it. That's my specialty. I won't have it. Here, I've been sitting around waiting for this place for five years. Well, what do you care? You're getting your money, ain't you? What do you want with another ranch? Well, what does he want with it? That's what I'd like to know. My gosh, so would I. Go on, let's get into town before the bank closes. We're losing time. Yeah, and I'm losing a ranch. So what the sand bill? Hey, hey, Gilly, look here. What is it? A bag of dirt, Pedal's bag. Dirt? Yeah. See, you remember them holes Red saw him digging around there by the spring? See, what were you digging them holes for, Pell? Why, just, just to get some specimens of the soil and see what it'll grow best. It won't grow nothing, not even rocks. But you in the oil business once, Mr. Pell? Certainly not. 
Why, Morgan? Please, darling, let me handle this. Oh, so you are in the oil business. Of all the ridiculous things, there's no oil in those specimens. You can smell them yourself. I can't neither. My smell is no good. Morgan, is there oil here? That's entirely beside the point. Why shouldn't I buy the ranch if I want to? They're going to lose it anyway. But it might be worth millions. We're to be scun out a million suffering snakes. Who's this woman and what's she busting in for? I'll tell you who she is. She's his wife, but she's in love with him. That's why she's busting in. What's that? Keep your mouth shut, Uncle Henry. Oh, well, you couldn't marry her and you wouldn't marry her. I guess I got some right to protect myself, ain't I? Jones, I can't believe this is true. Well, he ain't going to admit it. He's too much of a gentleman. That's what's keeping him broke. But it's true. All you got to do is look at him. Oh, you're talking a lot of nonsense. That was just puppy love. Well, then you're a boob, like most husbands. Jones, I'll admit there's a possibility of oil on this ranch. I'll give you $20,000 and pay off the mortgage. 20000 Cash. You got it with you? I have, and I'll write out a temporary option to bind the deal. Hot dog. Look here, Gilbert. My daughter's always talking about you being a gentleman. If you are, you'll tear up that option paper. Yes, but that wouldn't be very courteous to Mr. Pell, would it? And he's been such a gentleman about the whole thing. Yeah, all right, we'll just sign that. Gilbert, don't do it. Give me a pen. Oh, thanks. No, you can't sign that. Please wait. I promised my uncle when I came out here that someday I'd pull him out of the hole, and this is the day. Let's go into town and draw up the deed of sale. Yeah, how about that cash? You'll get it at the bank the moment we cancel the mortgage and clean up the deal. Clean it up? How can you clean it up? It's the dirtiest piece of business I ever saw. Which probably covers a lot of ground, Mr. Hardy. Come on, Gil. Ready, Lucia? Gil, my boy, bless you. Just a minute, Morgan. I can't let you do this. Really? I must ask you not to interfere in my business. But you've never done anything like this before. Or have you? Lucia, keep quiet. I'm handling this, do you understand? Morgan, I've never seen you like this. You're a stranger. Oh, jumping G. Hosfat. What troubles we got. I'm an old man and the ranch is gone. I ain't got no place to go. Gil loves Lucia and Angela loves Gil and Red loves Angela and Lucia loves Gil and Pell loves Lucia. Ain't nobody can marry nobody. And nobody's happy. And ain't nobody nowhere can straighten out this mess. Where are the guns? Packed in the barn. Get me my savage. Who are these men? Lopez! Lopez! See, si, Lopez. You are my prisoners. Put out these scouts to watch for the police. Search all the buildings. Lock everybody up. Cut the telephone wires. Shoot the automobiles. Check the horses. Adelante, Adelante, Adelante. Adelante, muchachos, vaya. Vamos con la casa. Vamos con la casa. Vamos con la casa. Vamos con la Sí, señor. Bring the woman's here. The mujeres. Mujeres here, bring. Oh, sí, cómo no. Oh. Half a lot is for to see you outside. Come on. You too. Oh. Only two women. The cookie is gone. Oh, it's all right. I. I forget I'm hungry now, huh? Come here, you. You mean me? No. No, 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 no not you. You, come here. Andale! What do you want with me? I want to look at you. Turn around. Hmm. How old are you? Twenty-five. He's pretty old. I see the teeth. The what? You hear me, the teeth, what you eat with. Open the mouth wide. 
more wide. How much you weigh? 105. Well, he's pretty skinny. More better fat. What's his name? Lucia. Lucia? Oh, he's a pretty name. Here, come here. Come here, come here. Well, <laughs> you have the temper, huh? Oh, it's good. I like this. <laughs> How you like to go to Chihuahua with me? What? You hear what I say? How you like to go to Chihuahua with me? I wouldn't like it. Why not? Well, because in the first place I'm married. Well, we will not take the husband, just you and me. We'll go to Chihuahua. I'll rob the jewelry stores for you. We'll go to the bullfight, get plenty drunk. Have a devil of a good time, huh? What do you say? I still wouldn't like it. Hey, what's the matter with you, anyway? No one ever offered you a pretty good time before. Yes, but that's not exactly my idea of a good time. Oh, I see. You've been married with the one man all the life, huh? Only one. What a rotten life you must lead. Never no fun. If you was old and ugly, why then, maybe perhaps different. But young and beautiful. <laughs> hey, why the devil was you ever born if you don't wish to live? Well, I wish to live all right, but we just have different ways of enjoying life, that's all. See, but my way, she's more better, huh? It's going to be a lot of fun teaching you how to enjoy life with me. We will start right now. You will wait on me in the kitchen. I'm hungry. Go on, go on, get in the kitchen. Jose, you got this stuff. Yes, senor, está bueno. What's the matter? The hands shake. You afraid of me? No. <laughs> the girl with the spirit, huh? Hard to break like the wild horse. Oh, lift up the pan. I would like to taste the food. Look out, it's hot. Oh, it's all right. It's not hot for Lopez. Maybe for your friend, yes, but Lopez, no. Mm. Hey, why are you afraid of me, anyway? Because I've heard you kill people. Oh, but that isn't so. No? What makes you think so? Oh, well, it couldn't be so. Well, you're wrong. I do. You think he's wrong to kill people? Does life mean as little as that to you? Life? <laughs> To be here is life, not to be here is death. Life is a little thing unless it's one's own. But you kill helpless people, prisoners like ourselves. Sure. But that's cold-blooded. <laughs> Perhaps you think so. It's just the difference living between danger and safety. In safety, you have the bill to pay. You pay him, he is forget. In danger, you have the enemy to kill, you kill him, <laughs> he is forget. It's horrible. It's life. Yeah. Sit down. Not you. The sugar, please. I kill only men, evil men. <laughs> when I kill evil men, it makes me most happy, because I have done good deed. But who's to decide whether they're good or evil? I do. Oh, you think he's horrible, huh? That's because you never live in the free country. But I do live in a free country. How can you say this? You live in the most unfree country in the world. Every man and woman is a slave. Huh. You go to bed such time, you get up such time, you eat such time. What is even worse, every Saturday you take the bath at such time. Everybody is the prisoner of the laws, the laws, the... Sit down. Well, I suppose a man in your business can't very well believe in laws. I believe in the best laws, the laws I make myself. Well, isn't that a little confusing? Not in a free country. Well, I was in your country once. <laughs> I get drunk and the bartender hit me on the head. In my country, when I get drunk, I hit the bartender on the head. He's more better. Uh, lovely weather, isn't it? The sugar, please. Oh, yes, thank you so much. Tell me, have you never known the joy of fierce living? No, I haven't. But, well, that is not exactly, but it must be thrilling. I was no speak with you. You weren't? I weren't. But you're not cross with me, are you? It is not that I'm cross with you. It is that you annoy me. You pushed my face. 
You should keep the face at home. Where I live, why the heart should leap. The soul is free. You shall find out all this when we get to Chihuahua City. You shall be very happy. But I'm not going with you. What kind of a woman are you anyway? Never for so long have I been so nice to the woman. Huh. And you say you're not going with me? Oh, well, the husband, I suppose he has what you call uh, a great charm, huh? Pedro. Si, jefe. Bring in the prisoners. <laughs> si, bueno. The husband, he is one of them? No. No? I shall pretty quick find out. Lucia, you'll forget all about the marriage vow when you and me are in Chihuahua, just you and me together, huh? Look here, that's my wife you're talking to. Ha-ha! <laughs> I tell you, I find the husband pretty proud, though. She's a pretty nice wife. I, I like this myself. Look here, Lopez. If it's money you want, I'll give you a thousand dollars to clear out of here. Silencio! You will talk when I ask the questions. Then you will give the answers. Anybody else who doesn't do so will suddenly be shot. Except, uh... Lucia here, I, I've got the other plans for her. Now we'll do the business. You say $1,000 is all you got, huh? Yes, every cent. Maybe your friend, the senor, maybe he has more. I'm a poor man, senor Lopez. I can barely manage to keep body and soul together. Mm, it's too bad, too bad. You are the father of the little girl here? Yes. That's much worse. Oh, you're, you're a cowboy, huh? Yep. Uh, you are a very happy man, but you have no money. I was cowboy once myself, I know. That's all the money I got. They scunned me out of all the rest. Ten thousand dollars. They're worse bandits than you are. Ten thousand dollars? Is this true? Not a particle of truth in it, not a particle. I think someone make the lie. Whoever tell a lie is evil. Whoever is evil, I kill. Pedro. The first one who makes the lie, you shoot in the head. Bueno. I hope he's the first one. You want him killed? Absolutely. Why? Because, like I told you, he skinned us out of $10,000. Is that true? You robbed him of $10,000? Well, uh, the mortgage I hold on his ranch was due today. Go on, tell him why you want the ranch so bad. Go on, I dare you. Dude, you old fool, do you want to get us all into real trouble? I've been in real trouble for the last five years. I'd like nothing better than to see you get your share of it. I ain't got nothing to lose at all. You people done me out of my ranch, and he's going to do you out of your money. <laughs> Glory be, I'd be the happiest man in the world if he was to shoot the both of you. Then maybe I'd get my million dollars back. The more I think of it, the more I know that Mr. Lopez's ideas fits exactly into mine. Hmm, you say they rob you of a million dollar, huh? Yeah, go on, ask them. And I only hope that one of them tells a lie. Is what he says true? Well, I, I was going to... All right, get the gun ready. He's going to tell one. I thought there might be oil here. Oil? Yes, but since his, he says no money's been paid for the auction, the place still belongs to him, or perhaps Mr. Hardy. Huh? What's this? Making one or the other a very rich man, indeed. Oh. So the money, he comes to you, maybe, huh? How could any money come to me when there's a mortgage on the place? And the only one that knows where the oil is, if there is any oil, is Pell. If Mr. Lopez will permit me, perhaps I could offer a solution. You shut them out. You own this rancho? I did, but I don't now. When I got thrown by that infernal horse, I made it over to my nephew. I'm nothing but just a poor old pauper. Pedro, oh, where is the nephew today? He went to town. Oh, the nephew, he, he went to town. Yep, yep, that's where he went. But he don't amount to nothing, no how. I run things around here. Say, looky here. I got a great idea, Mr. Burglar. Uh, I mean, Mr. Lopez. Uh, that mortgage is due at uh, 8 o'clock tonight, see, in town. Now, suppose you hold these thieves here till 8 o'clock, and then you lend my nephew $10,000. And when the oil hits, we'll give you half a million. <laughs> Senor, I, I do not lend, I take. Mr. Lopez, you're a pretty smart fella. I can see that. I'll give you $20,000 for that option. 
$20,000, sir. For something which is worth the millions? Millions. We're all talking like children. Nobody knows there's oil here. Mm -hmm. I suppose the senor here, he does not know, huh? Oh, he's, he's right about that. There's, nobody knows where oil is. Mm, I see. I, I do business with businessmen. Bueno. Suppose I show you where the oil, where she hide, what's in? You show us? Mm. What's that you say? There is oil here and you know where? Mm, I have known so far the long time. On the level, Lopez? No, no. She is way down below. Well, that's fine. Now, the place is practically mine. As a matter of fact, I got the mortgage right here in my pocket. This pal is an Easterner. While you and me, we've grown up in the Southwest. Yes, sir, worked hard to develop the country. Why should we cut a city fella in on the deal? Sounds pretty good to me, huh? What do you say we hold a little auction? Auction? Yeah. The one who bids the highest will get the paper. And I will show him where the oil, where she hide. The one who bids the lowest, Pedro will shoot. I'm for that. Yeah, but he's a real rich fellow, and I'm poor. Go on, shoot him. He ain't neither. Gentlemen, how much am I bid for the paper? I bid $900. $15,000. $20,000. $30,000. Forty thousand. Forty-five thousand. Thirty thousand. Forty-five thousand. Fifty thousand. Fifty-one thousand. Sixty thousand. Sixty-five thousand. Seventy thousand. Seventy-five thousand. A hundred thousand. A hundred and one thousand. A hundred and twenty-five thousand. A hundred and thirty thousand. A hundred and sixty thousand. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred. Senor. This is enough. So I get it for two hundred thousand? No. You do not. You don't think that I am interested in this scrap of paper. And I do not accept the checks. You don't believe I think that you'll go away and bring me back $200,000? <laughs> no, you go away and you bring back 200,000 soldiers. What's the idea of the auction? I wanted to find out if you two business gentlemen had enough money for me to hold for the ransom. Ransom? It is true that you have the money. I will take the both of you to Chihuahua to my headquarters. You mean to say you ain't even going to shoot one of them? I'd like very much to do the favor for you, but uh, I'm no fool. The ransom wife, she is more important to me. See here, old man, I... You will listen more and speak less. I have so decided I will take you for the ransom. And you too. And this one? Hmm. Life has been very unkind to you. Too long have you been married with the tired businessman. I will take you with me to the land of the Purple Mountains. I will make you very happy, myself, personnel. All right, we, we commence to go. Come on, Lucia. Hey, you can't take Lucia. Why don't you take her? She's fatter. Old man, you make too much talk. Get out of the way. Come on, Lucia. Here, bring him along. Run to there. Come on, here. Get the best horse for my Lucia. All right. Lopez, don't make a move. All right, get him up, all of you. Lucia, Pell, Hardy, get out of there, quick. Senor, you're a pretty big fool. Sometimes you get yourself killed pretty quick doing foolish things like this. Here, tie him up to the tree over there. Andale, pronto. Andale. Put the prisoners on the horses already. We waste too much time. Andale, pronto. You take her with you, Lopez, and I'll catch up with you. It takes the rest of my life. Oh, I see you. You're in love with the senora, huh? He's bad. For money, a man is not very dangerous, but for love, he makes plenty of trouble. I'll fix you so you won't make no more trouble. Here, hang him. Hey, you mule back pirate. You can't hang him. Oh, can't somebody do something to help him, Morgan? I'm afraid we're not in a position to help anybody. Ah. Uh, I know, Mas Viejo. 
Here, here. Somewhere I see the face before. You're crazy. I've never seen you before. Ah, uh, what is the name? Jones. I own this ranch. You own the... You own the... Oh, the beautiful lady, she make the big fat lie, huh? <laughs> Isn't it funny, senor? The redder the lips, the blacker the lie, huh? Hang him. <laughs> it's not your business. Un momento! Un momento! Somewhere I see the face before. Maybe the day I take the cattle, huh? I wish I had seen you that day over a gun sight. Yeah, it's too bad. You would be dead now and I would not have the trouble to hang you to the tree, huh? Maybe uh, some night we meet when I am too drunk to remember. No. Jimenez, Chihuahua, Torreon? I've never been east of Sonora in my life. Eh, it's too bad. Too bad you have to die before you have lived. Here! Wait, drop him here! Drop him down there! Swallow him! Senor Jones, Senor Jones, here! I think I remember you now. Was you ever in Canyon Diablo? Oh, what of it? Five or six years ago? What if I was? You remember a poor peon who was wounded near bleed to death? All right, I remember, so what? Quick, where was he shot? Through the ribs. It is you. Don't you remember me? Oh, no, you're not that peon. He was thin. Sure he was thin. That was because he was hungry. He was ugly, too. <laughs> now I'm fat and handsome. Look at me. Here, not the stomach, the face. It is you. Pacho Lopez, and I saved your life. Well, oh, Senor John, Senor John, my friend, my friend. Pedro, here! Here! Senor Jones, he saved my life in the Canyon Diablo one night. The Venezuela, Venezuela, here! You're mucho loco, mucho loco! You hang my friend, Senor Jones, who saved my life in the Canyon Diablo! Senor, you! You're dark, you! <laughs> you hang my friend, senor. Oh, it's a lucky thing for you I recognize you. Venusiano, you make the apology to the grand senor Jones. Senor Jones, perdón. He's my friend. He saved the life. He saved You all right? So far. Well, my friend, my friend. <laughs> That's fine. Everything's all right. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. For you, she's all right. For the senora, she's wonderful. For him, he's all right. But for you and you, like the devil, she's all right. <laughs> well, my friend, what you say we? We'll have a nice drink of tequila, huh? Tequila. <coughs> hey, what's the matter? <coughs> Gringo, you don't like tequila? Ben Walker. <coughs> Say, uh, hadn't you and the boys better be running along? You know, the police will be looking for you. Oh, no. The scouts, they watch everything for me. Well, my friend, how you been this long time, huh? Oh, I've been fine. Everything's been going great. No, I think you tell the big fat lie. Things, they smell bad with you. You're right. Something smells around here. You know, the, the big businessmen, they have the mortgage, and the bandits, they steal the cattle. <laughs> At 8 o'clock tonight, why, you would be poor, just like that peon that you saw up in the Canyon Diablo, huh? You certainly climbed a long way up in the world since the first time I saw you. See, when I get well, why, I find it's too hard to work. Huh? So I think I'll be the soldier. You know, the soldier, he has the horse, he has the gun, he has the woman, he has everything. One day, the lieutenant, she are killed. I am the lieutenant. Next day, the captain. I am captain. By and by, the major. 
then I kill the general myself personnel. Nice going. Well, he's not so good for you. I hear all about these wise businessmen. They have ruined you. You have nothing. Lopez, he find out. Yeah, I'm in trouble, all right. I'm in the hands of that loan shark, but there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. You talk the nonsense talk. It's easy. I take care of everything. How? I changed all the laws around here. You live by their laws, now you live by my laws. In one little hour, I'll make all the troubles go poof. You'll be rich and happy mans like me. That's a lot of territory to cover in one hour, isn't it? No, it's easy. It's easy, only you must do my way. You cannot interfere with me, huh? You'll agree to do this? All right. Thanks. In fact, if you can do it, I'll erect a statue to your stomach in Chihuahua City. Bueno. She's dead. Hey, Pedro. Si. Uh, you bring the prisoners inside here for Senor Jones and me. Bueno. Underlay. But, Mr. Lopez, I don't mind going to Chihuahua. Really, I don't. Cave back in the hills and moonlight around the campfires, guitars softly peeping. It sounds so wonderfully sinister. Why do you make the face go like that all the time and make the noise? What do you know about the trouble of the Senor Jones? He, she knows plenty. If he'd married her when I told him to, there wouldn't be no trouble. Married to her, he would have nothing else but the trouble. I could not help him at all then. Surely, uh, he could not love her. No, he loves her. Oh, the, the cowboy. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she loves him. Oh, see. Si. And he loves her. Please. Stop running off at the mouth. But she's married to him. Mm, yeah, the husband, yeah. Yeah, that makes a heck of a mess. Why don't you mind your own business? It is my business. If a man drops from the sky with a couple of guns and a small army and wants to straighten everything out for you and me, I'm going to help him. Uh, you love her, huh? That's none of your business. Oh, it's true. <laughs> I can see in her eyes that she loves you all right, pretty good. She's very beautiful. We would have been very happy in Chihuahua. But uh, what is one woman's between friends? You can have her, senor. Well, how can he have her? Well, you, she's married. Oh, it's all right. Nothing to get excited about. Oh. Something must happen to the husband. I hope that something's what I'm thinking of. Pedro. Si. The next one who interrupt while you shoot. Si, senor. I have many things to do to make my good friend, senor Jones, happy. Cowboy. Here. This lady who spoiled my dinner and annoyed me in many different ways, uh, he said that uh, you love her, huh? Well, he's a sort of a blabbermouthed old man. I ain't neither. But he ain't too far off at that. If she wasn't crazy for the boss and he didn't need her papa's money, why, I'd love her all right. You love him? No. Oh, Angela. You love him. I don't either. You love him, I have so decided. This is perfectly silly. How dare you decide my affairs? Because you make love to my friend, the Senor Jones, and you annoy him in many different ways. Angie, you don't really love the boss, do you? Any more than you love them other two fellas. That druggist in Phoenix, or that fella from Chicago that was selling manure spreader. Oh, you shut your big mouth, Red Giddens. Well, what if they was better looking than me? And smarter. Well, I've known you about 20-odd years, and I don't think you ought to have too smart a husband. I won't listen to another word. Yes, you will, my pretty dove. I will not insist that you marry the cowboy, no. But I will insist that if you do not marry with the cowboy, you will marry Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> so you do love him, huh? Yes, I do. Eh, she's finished, all finished. Oh, go ahead. You take her outside. Come into right. camp. Now we straighten the rest, huh? Senora, please. You love my good friend, Senor Jones? Oh, just a minute, Lopez. Surely you realize we can't discuss that here? Your delicacy is a little bit delayed, isn't it, Jones? You shut up! I would please you, senor. Look, if you really want to please me, why don't you just round up the boys and ramble? Senor, please. In, in the love, sometimes the woman, she has much more courage than the man's. You will speak with me, please, and tell me how we can make the senor Jones very happy. 
You love him? Yes. Diablo, then, what is wrong? She's married to him. That's what's wrong. How many times have I got to tell you? She's going to stay married. Uh, Senor, uh, in the church, you, you, you make the vow and take the promise to love, honor, and obey? Yes. And yet you will accept the divorce? Yes. Oh, so after you make the promise to love, honor, and obey until death, you will break the promise because the judge, he say, go ahead. Yes. Well, then, why don't you break the promise yourself and save the judge the trouble? Because it's a sin. And sin's again the law. Oh, am I again the law, Uncle Henry? And the husband, has he kept his promises too? I don't think so. Senor, I think the husband, he's a bad friend to you. That's ridiculous. This whole thing's ridiculous. It is, senor. I have lost patience with you. You are about Phoenix. Pedro. See. Si. You take him in the kitchen. Look here. No, you get get in the you got to give it not in the the kitchen kitchen with him. Yeah, Lopez, you want to do me a favor because I saved your life. Is that the idea? See, si, see. Si. Well, these people are my friends, and I don't want anything to happen to them. I will so decide who your friends are. And Luciana. See, si, Captain. You watch the prisoners. Bring the old man in the kitchen here. See, si, senor. Muchacho, Jose, venga. Look here, Lopez. If money is all you want, well, for heaven's sake, tell me how much. You shut the face. It's not that I do not want the money. It's the fact that I do not want you. Well, it's money I want, and I'm getting mighty impatient waiting for it. Why, he's got more thousand-dollar bills on him than Pedro's got fleas. Huh? You cabby simpleton. <laughs> Now, give me the money. Pedro. Si. No. Pedro. Si. You will give him ten of them their bills. Come on, Pete, pay me. Oh, it's for me. Thank you very much. It's for the mortgage. Oh, but this is stolen money. If I give you the mortgage, I'll be an accessory after the fact. What do you care? As a matter of fact, you'll be dead. Can you see? Now, you will please give Pedro the money back again. You mean you want it back? You have been paid, is it not? Yeah, I was, but I... Uh, uh, you are a robber. I'm a robber, but I'm the biggest robber. I'm nothing of the sort. I'm a businessman. You are what you call a loans fish. Pedro, give yes, the money to you. Uncle Henry. Me? See, si, it will make my friend, Senor Jones, very happy. Now you have been paid. Bueno, she's finished. Everybody get out now. Go on, no wonder. You ain't gonna let him steal it back from me, are you? No, she's yours for keep, senor. I feel a lot sure if you'd shoot him. Pronto, underlay. Pronto, pronto. Look here, there must be some way we can settle this whole thing. Mm, at last we have come to that, senor. Well, make any reasonable proposition. In the oil business, I've always had the reputation of being pretty easy to deal with. You have cost me plenty money. Me? Well, I haven't cost you a dime. Look here. I know some oil properties in Mexico that haven't been opened up. You and I together, we could clean up a million pesos. Pesos? Oh, pesos. If I had took you for ransom, I'd make million dollars. But I am not what you call, uh, oh, how you say it, uh, uh, sordid. You're not going to hold me for ransom? No. Well, uh, now we're getting somewhere. What are you going to do? You're evil mans, Mr. Wall Street. I kill you. Kill me? Cigarra. <laughs> you, you're joking. Joking? You must be. I, I wouldn't be any use to you dead. Do I look like Joker? But it isn't human to stand there like that and talk about killing me in cold blood. I do not like you. Nobody like you. Alive, you're no good. Dead, you make two people happy. Two people I love very much. Oh, I get it. You're going to kill me so my wife can marry Jones. Si, senor, you get it. Well, if that's what you're after, I'll, I'll give her a divorce. Oh, you would give her a divorce, huh? Well, uh, of course, if, if, that, if that's what you want. Don't you see? If, if that's what you want, I, he can have her. I'll, gi I'll give her to him. I will. I, I swear I will. 
I would look at you before I shoot. What? I've seen mans who would not fight for their money, and I've seen mans who would not fight for their lies. But never before have I seen a man who would not fight for his woman. No, 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 wait. If you kill me, you'll be hanged. If I'm ever caught, I will be hanged many times. But you can't do this, you can't. Not, not without giving me a chance for my life. At least fight me fair. Fair? Yes, give me a gun also. Pedro, oh, you hear? <laughs> All of these gringos are crazy. You say, give me a gun. Huh. If I did, you will shoot me with it. I am no crazy, loco fool. Lopez, for the love of heaven, don't do it. I'll do anything. You can have her. Her and all my money, but only don't shoot. I have never seen a dog so yellow. I do not hunt rabbits, and I don't leave dead rats in the house of my friends. Pedro. You take him up in the canyon and kill him where he won't smell up the ranch. Bueno. Pedro, don't do it. They'll hang you. Oh, you will hang you. Bueno, hurry up. Here, take him up in the canyon with you. Yes. I've done it. Done what? I keep my promise with you. One hour ago, you have no money, no ranch, or no woman. Now, the money's paid, the ranch is yours, the woman is free with you to marry. Tell me, my friend, in one hour, I'll make you very happy, huh? But she isn't free. Yeah, well, Pedro will fix this. <laughs> have I not kept my promise with you? He's going to kill, pal? Certainly. Pedro never misses. Adios, my friend. Adios. Oh, Gil, you've got to stop him. He's going to shoot him. Going to shoot him? You mean to say they ain't done it yet? Lopez must be slipping. Lopez, wait. Hippie! 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 Lopez, you can't do this. You can't kill Pell. What's the matter with you? Nothing I can do to please you. I'm going to make you happy whether you like it or not. The woman, she's yours. Under there. Come on, Franco. Adios, amigos. Thanks for stopping by. It's over. Good riddance. I'll thank you for that mortgage, Jones. Well, you'll thank me, will you? I should think you would, you sour-faced old goat. Go on, get off my place before I start stitching designs in the seat of your pants with my Winchester. Give him the mortgage, Uncle Henry. Are you good out of your mind? Give me back that paper before I start making trouble. Give it to him. It's stolen property. Stolen property? Nothing. He was paid for it. I seen him get the money with my own eyes. Yeah, but it passed through my hands so quick I couldn't even get my thumbprints on it. Come on. Go ahead. Hang me for a horse thief if this isn't the gold and this craziest piece of nonsense I ever seen. Now, this fellow Lopez no sooner turns this place over to you than you turn it right back to the vultures. There it is. You egg-sucking old coyote. It's too bad he couldn't have took you, too. Give me that back. No, you don't. Yes, I do, too. Give it back. I'm going to buy that mortgage back. 10,000 smackers. It's a good thing Pell's dead. Uh, Gil would want me to give this back, too. This belongs to Lucian. Holy leaping, looping, bald-headed Lazarus. There ain't nobody got no sense. Ah, what's the use? What's the use? Come on, Angela. We gotta go in and record that mortgage. And remember, you've got till eight o'clock tonight. Then pack your things and get. All right, then I'll make it two hundred thousand. Cash at the bank tomorrow morning. Doesn't two hundred thousand dollars mean anything to you, man? Oh, money come, money goes. I think I like better have some fun. You mean it will be fun to shoot me? See, si, and pretty quick too. When we get to the next journey in Canyon. with Lopez.
Well, I guess that's everything. Yeah. You look a little all in. Could I get you some coffee or something? I wish I could tell you how sorry I am. You understand, don't you? I'll, I'll do anything I can to help. Thanks. Comes a time when I'm all bowed down with grief, like now. But I try to look on the bright side of things. Of course, Pell's gone. But what the heck? He must have left quite an estate, eh, Lucia? Haven't you got any sense at all? Uh, God darn it, what I want to know is where am I going to sleep tonight? Well, we're going to take Lucia to her hotel, and then you and I are going to start getting used to sleeping in the trailer. <laughs> Well, come on, let's get going. All right, as soon as I fix those tires. I'll go with you. Oh, good enough. Just keep quiet, please. Ghosts. Say, you thought you was dead. Unfortunately not. Confound the luck. Now everything's back right where it was. Put that gun away, pal. In due course, Jones. I'm overcome with the warmth of your greeting, my dear. Very gratifying to a husband returned from the dead. I'm glad you're safe, Morgan. You see, Gil? Our wife is a very considerate girl. That's, that's why we're so fond of her. Come here. Better stay where you are. You'd better come here, Lucia. I'm taking you into town. We, we have one or two things to settle. No. I'm not coming with you, Morgan. Now or ever. You're not? Interesting. Really. What are your plans? We haven't made any. Except that I'm going to stay close enough to her from now on so that you won't have another chance to bother her. You're that close to her now, but I'm afraid I am going to bother her. Come here. By yourself. Get away from him! She's staying where she is. All right, then stay and take what's coming to you, both of you. You want to be together? Hang on, you silly! I'm coming! Morgan Gill, stop it! Hang on, that gun! Hang, Gilly! Hang on! Go on now! Don't be so hard to the gentleman! Go on at him! Go on at him! Fight him! Fight him! Now you got him! How many times have I got to shoot you before you are dead? No, I bet you stay dead. But if the other. See, Happy. You drag him out there in the cactus. Save the silk shirt for me. See, Happy. He's a lucky thing I get away from the police and come back and find this fellow Pell. He killed my poor Pedro. Huh. He's a lucky thing I come back all right. Now everything she's fixed up, what you call uh, uh, permanence. Everybody's happy. I feel like the songbird. Your husband, he is. Dead. He's finished. The mortgage, she's no more. That's what you think. You see this junk around here? See. Well, we're moving. Kicked out bag and baggage. And what's more, I ain't got no place to sleep tonight. Why all this? That egg brain nincompoop. He give the mortgage back to Hardy. I ought to put him in the crazy house when he was three years old. He ain't safe to have her on. Is this true, Senor Eggbrain? Why argue about it, Lopez? You and I'll never agree on what's right and what's wrong. I'm about finished with you, my friend. Senor Hardy, he steals with the mortgage. Senor Lopez, with the gun. What's the difference? How many times have I got to fix this thing up? You think I have nothing else to do? 
Bah! Ah, he's loco. You're talking into the wind. Well, I do not talk into the wind. Okay. I'll pay off the mortgage with the money which I get from selling the cattle which I steal from you. He's what you call honest way, huh? He satisfy you? Yeah, that stops me. Can't squawk about that. But it's too late. Hardy's in town in 15 minutes. The ranch will be his. We can't make it. You leave it to Vancho. We make it all right. Oh, but I don't... No, no, not you, not you. We, we understand each other. You huh? bet your life with you, but how are you going to make it? Uh, that's all right. I'll show you pretty quick. Huh? Here, you wait outside for me. Okay, okay, okay. I'll fix it your way, but I'll do it myself, personnel. Oh, most beautiful, senora. You're very sad because I killed the husband, huh? I think sometime that you should be very happy for what I have did. You are both filled with the love. If you are going to be together sometime, why not now? When the senora, she's in need of the comfort. Well, I don't savvy. Your way, she's hard and full of foolishness. My way, she's quick, simple, like that. I don't know. I used to think my way's pretty good, but now I'm not so sure because you have the love of the most beautiful and sweetest senora in all the world. Well, thank you, my friends, for hearing the little hacienda. You have given me the most peaceful day I've had in all my life in many months. And may you always be as happy as what I have made you. And if you spoil things once more, I come back and shoot you, poof, like that. Say, if we're going to pay that old coyote off, I want to be there to see his face. Oh, you'll be there all right, senor uncle. I cannot pay myself personnel since I must avoid the police. Well, say, how do you think I'm going to get there, fly? You can ride that thing pretty good, huh? Pretty good? I can ride this thing where a mountain goat have to tiptoe. Well, we'll see. Yippee! Hot dog! Let's go, James, and don't spare the horses.